you'll need for this project are one and a half inch wood blocks, and I have nine of them, a pen, a craft knife, a paintbrush, Mod Podge, and a four and a half by four and a half inch photo. Next, you're gonna take your Mod Podge and you're gonna line all the blocks up and just put a nice clean coat of Mod Podge. Then you're gonna cut out your photo and you're gonna gently put that on top of the Mod Podge, such a tongue twister, Mod Podge coated wood blocks. And you wanna gently rub that down. And don't rub too hard. I'm doing a really light touch because it is just a paper photo and you don't wanna smear anything just in case. Then just in case you have a little area that wasn't stuck all the way down, you're gonna put a little more Mod Podge. Next, you take your craft knife and you're gonna go gently in between the cubes and you can kind of feel it with your finger before you see how I kind of touch it with my finger. I can feel where the line is and once you get the knife or the craft knife to sear through, you will gently go along the block. And just go super slow when you do this because there are areas where you know the the cube is going to be cut like by an eye like right there on my son Tristan there I have to go really gently there because it's such a tiny space and it happens to cut right on his eye that he could just lose that whole area and it'll look really funny so I gently do that and then I just continue with the craft knife and I cut through all of the cubes Next, you're going to take some sandpaper, and I did forget to mention that in the supply list, but you're going to take the sandpaper and gently distress the corners of each side where the photo is. And then again, remember I mentioned there's areas where you may have to cut where like there's an eye or a mouth. You're going to gently sand that down because you don't want to sand the eye off. Then after you've sanded everything, you're going to dust them off with your with a little napkin or a towel and you're going to put another coat of Mod Podge across everything and then make sure you do a gentle like a little thin coat of Mod Podge because you don't want to smear the ink and I know it looks a little weird and you're going oh no it's covering everything but I promise it'll look fantastic and see look how awesome that is what a fantastic fantastic project